Um, so what I got, it's flashing off and on. So I'm going to take these out. Or not. The special tool make that an impact. So I'm, for now, I'm done in the center. I'm gonna move on to all these other screws. So because this is um, equal bowls around the outside, it really doesn't matter where I start, okay? So again, I'm gonna take my center, put it to the mark, And this, this is where you kind of need things to be pretty well lined up. You know, you shouldn't really let it slip too much because once you get on the inside, you want all the axes to meet in the right places and the things be equilateral and all that stuff. So you notice I'm not, nothing's marked on here, okay? It's all marked on the back side. And if you are doing something that is not symmetrical, remember you have to flip the design over, okay? But both of the ones that I do are symmetrical, so. Yes. Did you turn your speed down? I'm getting ready to do it, because you're in the line of fire. <laughs> <laughs> what a, you couldn't ask for a better target. <laughs> telling me to wear a face shield, ensure correct speed is selected, now it's ready. Because it would have started up at 500 RPM, and I will guarantee you, where we'll stay on the lathe, the lathe won't stay where it is. The lathe may hit you in the head. Yes. So I'm going to start off pretty slow. In fact, I think I'll pull this off. Just This is actually 300 RPM, so not too bad. So maybe it would have done it. Okay, so I want to make, again, the outline of the little bowl. Let's see if I got that. Nope. Okay, so that's where I want it, right in here, and I got a little bump in the center, that's what's causing that pencil to jump, but I know I'm hitting it right dead center, right? Can you see that? Maybe not. Um, so again, I take my point tool. Okay. So now I have that marked. So I have my outline. There's the gap I was talking about before. That's defined. And now I want to draw where I want to do the bowl. And I want to make the bowl generally about the same distance from the outline as I have for the gap. Okay? So it's about there. 
And now I'll just come in with a bowl gouge. Now, you know, this part is no different than doing any bowl. Okay, I'm going to raise that just a hair more. So the first two are a piece of cake. Numbers three and four and five are the ones that are more problematic. So the other thing I want to do is check out how deep this is because I want to know how deep because I want to make all of them the same depth. All right. So in this case, this is the one I did before. It's that deep. This says I need to go another quarter of an inch. You buy that woodcraft? What? Yes. You buy that woodcraft? I buy enough tools of woodcraft. I can, I can afford to make some. <laughs> but, you know, real tough. Now you notice that I'm doing this on a dry piece of wood. You can't do this on green. Obviously, it'll move too much, you know. So you have to do it on a dry blank. So I think that ought to be okay. That's good and close enough. I'm, I'm really there. I can maybe damn. Okay. So now I have it set. All the other ones I need to make this same depth. All right. But I'm not quite done. That's a pretty rough bottom. So um, <coughs> I'm just going to use her. Uh, I mean, if you really want to cut it all the way around, be my guest. I'll just use the, you know, this is a heavy duty one, so it does all right. And then I just do a light. Swing around with this one. And I need to sand it. 